Back during the Super Nintendo, JRPGs were the top dogs in video game storytelling. Jump to today, we have incredible motion capture and voice acting performances. We have RPGs where your choices alter the story. We have compact RPGs with sharp humor. You have games that tell stories without any reliance on dialogue whatsoever. And then all the way in the back, in last place, you have this. Ma, ma, ma. If you're gonna subject me to some cringe-worthy PS2 era anime writing, at least hit me with an interesting concept. Daffy Duck meets Wreck-It Ralph. Okay, I'll play that. Pokemon meets Inception. Okay, uh, that, that sounds pretty fun. So what makes Octopath Traveler stand out? Uh, you can have eight characters. Not, not at a time, mind you. And goddamn, are these the most generic, uninteresting characters you can whip up? The guy I picked was a Kingsguard who was betrayed by one of his fellow knights, so he has to go into hiding. I am no knight. Just a man with a sword. But then something happens, and he has to reveal that he actually is a knight, which we already knew, and then he decides to confront the guy who betrayed him. It's not even a revenge story. He's just gonna find the guy and maybe do something. Not a strong start at all, but it's okay, because any momentum the story could have had is thrown directly into the garbage can so we can introduce a new guy. The game just kind of resets when you find a new character so you can play out their solo introductory chapter. It's a really disjointed way of storytelling, and even once they join your party, they don't actually interact with each other. Their stories just play out in complete solitude with your team just happening to be there. Depending on your character, the dialogue can be bland and inoffensive or just a complete fucking embarrassment. As you wish, your excellency. Fifteen years, your excellency. I was but an orphan, your excellency. Your excellency! This kindness of yours will not be your ruin. Your excellency? I know you are up to the task. Your excellency, I... I had a dream. A dream, Your Excellency? Promise me that you will love one another forever. Your Excellency, I- Shut the fuck up! On top of all that, you have my two favorite things in any video game. Whoever made random encounters should be kicked into a fucking pit of spice and shot with a bazooka. Why would you put this in any game? For years, I've asked myself that question. It's not even that I particularly despise turn-based combat, it's just that it's almost always accompanied by hundreds of horrible brainless fights. A lot of games will throw easily dispatchable enemies at you. The difference is, you see a grunt, boom, dead. You see that Goomba, boom, gone. Now let's fight a level 1 snail in Octopath Traveler. How about you? How about you? Uh, the thrill of the fight. Okay, now do that 50 times and you can fight the next boss. There are promising elements somewhere in this game, but I don't think it's worth wading through a sea of monotonous grinding to find them. You blew it, Reggie. 